Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo, a game that I've owned and loved since I was a kid. Um, one of the first Super Nintendo games I ever had, really, and, and probably the most played, I would think. Um, maybe right up there with Final Fantasy III and Chrono Trigger, but I think this one beats it out since I had it a lot longer than those other two games but uh, it's just one of those games that I can keep going back to and playing so darkness sweeps the troubled land as Mana's power fades people await a hero who will wield the sword Excalibur, Harold, Gigas, the blade has had many names for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time but all of these speak to just one weapon, the Sword of Mana. And that's what we're going to go after today for Secret of Mana. Yay, I'm excited to play this game again. Um, and that'll be it for you guys. A whole 20 years after it originally came out. Um, a little bit of trivia. Uh... Secret of Mana was originally supposed to be titled Final Fantasy Adventure here in the, the United States. Uh, probably because the, the title Final Fantasy is, was well known at the time. And they figured it would help sell more games. But I, I, think, I think this did pretty well without the uh, Final Fantasy title uh, attached to it. So this is our main hero, Trombi is his name, because I'm naming him after myself. Using the power of mana, civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the, the fortress. The blah, 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 blah. I can talk today. A violent war rocked the world, and Mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the Mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river and history repeats. Mode 7 in all its glory. Here we go. Hey, guys, wait up! Ah. Shh, be quiet! The elder will find us here and he'll be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Huh, <laughs> do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Help, I'm falling. Ah, ah. Um, let's run away and pretend that didn't happen. And yeah, that must not have been a very high waterfall. Ouch! Phew! No way to get back up. Now what am I going to do? Perhaps there's something shiny that we can use. Trombi. Trombi. What? Well, that certainly looks shiny. The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Well, that sword looks like it could cut through. Let's just... This isn't conspicuous at all. Let's just pull it out this, this sword. This stone. Trombi, remove the sword. Who are you? And what's the sword doing here? Huh? Ow, that light. So bright. I can't see. Make me go blind. A uh, g, -g, 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 g ghost Trombi, it is I who asked the sword. Say what? 
You mean this sword? And an even brighter flash of light occurs. The brilliant light is gone in an instant. I have to get back. Alright. So, I can cut through with this sword. Great. Thanks for pointing that out right as I was about to explain something. Alright, so this is our hero, Trombi, or whatever you wish to call him. Um, he doesn't have an official name. So feel free to call him whatever you want. He can walk around. He can run by pressing the A button, but it uses up his invisible charge meter. Um, you can uh, swing with your weapon by pressing the B button, and that also uses your invisible charge meter. By y when your meter is fully charged, you can do a, a fully charged attack. But if you attack while it's still charging, the attack will be significantly weaker, as you'll see in a, in a little bit. Whoa, what's a rabbi doing in a place like this? So as you can see, that second strike only did 2 damage, 7 damage. Not very much compared to the 14 we did when it was fully charged. So what this should tell you is that you should be fully charged um, as much as possible. Uh, the grass can be cut here as well, but unlike in Zelda, you, nothing happens. You can't find any items or anything in there. Much too my dismay because that would have been cool uh, uh oh and yes enemies drop treasure chest and inside you can find candy which is our first restorative item and another one you could also find uh, GP or uh, armor uh, or other types of uh, restorative items, but each enemy has a, a specific uh, set of treasures that it can drop. Like, um, you'll always get 4GP or candy from a rabbi. You'll never get anything more or less than 4GP. You'll never get any other kind of item. That's what it is. That's what you're going to get. So, deal with it. <laughs> and rabbis are not too tough. They can leap at you, they can bite at you, and that's about it. Eventually it's going to get to a point where they can't even hurt you. And pretty soon we're going to be full up on candy because you can only carry four of any one item at a time. Which is not very much. Ugh. And... This, uh, my weapon just uh, gained a level. All your weapons can gain levels, but only up to a certain point. Um, you have to collect certain items, which I'll explain later on in the game, and you can level up your items. You can change them, have them reforged. As you can see, it says energy orb one of one. That means I can raise it up to a total level of one at the, uh, as of right now um, because I'm only at level one I only have the level one sword when I upgrade it I can level it up even further and the same goes for magic although that limit is handled in a different way again something I'll talk about um, later on when we get to it uh, to gain access to the menu, by the way, just press the Y button for the hero. When we gain other characters, you will be pressing the X button to access their menus. I'm not sure why they didn't just assign it to one button, but maybe they felt bad that the X button w wasn't being used, and they figured, well, why don't we just give it something to do so it's not just hanging around, not doing anything. As you see, we're already full up on candy because the candy won't fit. We have incredibly tiny pockets. And we gained a level. Excellent. So, what I do at the beginning of the game normally is I will walk around this area a couple times and level up to level 3. 
Um, now that's entirely... Ow. Wait, 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 wait. I don't appreciate... Okay, really? Um, okay, good. There we go. That was... Okay, they had me cornered there for a second. Because I couldn't attack them on the bridge, but they could attack me. And they did. Anyway, first thing I want to do is come in here and... Um, I don't believe I have enough money for it yet. Well, nuts to that. We're going to gain some more money, though, in a little bit. You want to get the bandana, uh, which is 50 GP. And each rabbi we defeat drops 1 GP. But yeah, I, I usually level up to um, level 3 before I enter the next, or progress in the story. You can enter the village and come back out, as you as you can see, because that's what I just did. Uh, stop it! Okay, so Secret of Mana is pretty notoriously famous for uh, introducing the ring menu, which has been uh, utilized by various other games, most notably Secret of Evermore, which is not a sequel or even associated with Secret of Mana. It's just very similar, but it's not a, le a legitimate um, successor or sequel. Sequel was the word I was looking for there that I couldn't figure out. Anyway, this is your main menu uh, of options. Targeting just tells you what enemies are on the screen and maybe identify treasure chests. I'm not sure if I remember that correctly. Um, it's useful if there's something just off screen and you can't quite see it. But otherwise, I never use it. Stats just show you your stats. You can check how much experience you need for the next level, which is good, and how much GP you have. So we could go and get that bandana if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna. Weapon and magic level. Uh, our main hero does not have magic, so... Um, just be aware of that our equipment menu, which I'll show off when we get our bandana. Uh, window edit just gives you options for color and background and uh, border for messages. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother with it. Uh, controller edit you can edit the buttons however you like. Uh, so if you're not comfortable with the controls you can change them up however you like which is really really cool but I'm used to playing them as is and you can see we were, that rabbi got whacked that is a critical hit that's what it's called in this game it got whacked uh, don't you twirl your ears at me you poor excuse for a rabbit Anyway, so we're just going to go through this area a couple of times. Um, reason being, uh, you only need to go through here twice in order to get to level 3. If you defeat everything in your way. So it's not too terribly difficult to level up here. And level 3 is not such a um, difficult level to attain. And the reason I'm going to level 3 is because we have a boss coming up. And it's just going to make it easier to get through it. And leveling up is good no matter what it is you're doing. Um, going back to the weapon levels while we're grinding here a little bit. Um... I recommend always having your weapons in, uh, in magic. I'm not sure why I couldn't remember that word for a second there. Um, I recommend always having that stuff charged up to its fullest at all times. Whenever you get a new weapon orb and reforge the weapons or you gain a new uh, level in magic, spend some time leveling up. Um, 
so you're at your max value, uh, max level at all times. Um, whoops, totally missed that one. It's just. Oh, okay, really? What is go? What is this? What is going on? I don't, I don't appreciate it, Rabbi. Okay, so now we're at level three. You can see it didn't take very long, and now we can kill rabbits in one shot, which is good. So getting to the village should be even faster. Whoops, totally missed. But you guys saw that, or did you? No, you didn't see anything. I totally hit that guy. I know what you're talking about. Candy won't fit. You may notice that my hit points have been fully restored from that level up. Anytime you level up, um, that character's hit points get fully restored. Note that, oh gosh, that does not apply to your allies. If, let's say, the hero um, levels up, nobody else in the party is going to have their hit points um, restored. Only the hero. So, just keep that in mind. If you're low on health, but you're very close to leveling up, it might be worth it to just try and, and gut it out. Um, so you can get that full restore. Or if you're right before a, a boss, and you know you're close to leveling up, it might just be advantageous to you to go back a few screens and kill a few more enemies to get that level up. So that you are at full health for the boss. Just something to think about. Um, so right now the only useful item to get here is the bandana. Which we're going to equip for an extra two defense. Which is great. You can explore the town. There's not much to see. There's an inn you can go to. Which is you know, fairly useless at this point. Um, but if you're in bad shape, you, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't even bother. You'll you'll see why in the in a minute. And talk to this guy. There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Check this guy out. Some kind of knight hanging out here. Um, by the way, all the shopkeepers look the same, the exact same. Just like Nurse Joy in Pokemon, they are all. It's like a one huge gigantic family. And that'll be funny later on. Uh, much later on in the game. Hopefully I remember to tell you about it. Trombi, you're not hurt. They just told me what happened. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots. Weren't you told not to go there? Huh? Trombi, what's that you have? Oh no. It couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? Way to go. What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? It's impossible. The mana sword? Legend has it that our village is finished. If the sword is removed, and here it is. It is said that the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us now. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Hey, stop it! You did it. It's your fault. You. Please, stop! There's an earthquake! Why are you trying to attack me when there's an earthquake? I'm going to run around like crazy, because that's what you're supposed to do during an earthquake. And of course, a giant hole opens up beneath us, and there's a freaking gigantic half mantis, half ant monster waiting for us. Help! A monster! You have a sword, don't you? Use it! Hey, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Uh, so this is the mantis ant. As as I said before, it's a cross between a mantis and an ant. Uh, I wasted that charge attack. Oh, I didn't mention this. When your weapon gains a level, you can charge. Um, you can charge your weapon by holding B uh, to gain a, a, a strong attack. 
The reason why I go to level 3 and get the bandana is because he does very little damage to me. Ow! Except when he does that. Um, this attack especially, usually if you're not level 3, that'll hit and it'll knock you unconscious. Um, if you're not level 3 and you don't have the bandana, it's very difficult to beat the Mantis Ant. But on the bright side, um, that knight that we saw earlier... If you lose all your hit points, he will restore you um, with a couple wishes. So you cannot lose this fight. But I like to try and beat him on my own without having Gemma bring me back to life. Speaking of, you did it. Wait there, I'll pull you up. And the victory fanfare means we did it. And Elliot's gonna run off screaming like a little girl. That appears to be the real Mana Sword. Huh? What? It is supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the Mana Sword. Here, it's yours. I'm sorry, but the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Trombi, the Elder wants you in his house. Well, I have to be off. Oh, my name is Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. Right there. Press the A button. By mistake. Elder, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Trombi. You've really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Trombi stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go. Get out of here. Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. And inside this treasure chest we find... 50 GP. If we talk to the Elder, you don't have to, but he gives you a little more background story about our hero. I took you in, and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Trompy. And I press the A button by mistake again. Well, I was going to press the A button to run out of the building. But um, I decided to press right just as I did that. So I ended up running into the wall. Have everything you need. Once you say yes, you cannot come back in here. So make sure you've got accomplished everything you want to do. There's not much else to do. You can visit the inn. You can grind on some rabbites again. But there's not much left. So let's go ahead and commenced with our banishment for we are hereby banished from Potos village and it is now time for us to get out of here as that guy said so first we're gonna kill this rabbi and then we might as well go ahead and head on over to the water palace there's a new enemy the lullabud lullabuds can be um, fairly annoying they can make you unconscious as can the mushroom when it does that ah. try and stay away from those types of attack because you don't want to be left unconscious because enemies can really um, pound on you and they're unforgiving about that there we go this is especially true if there's um, a bunch of enemies on the screen. Now there can only ever be th 
uh, three enemies on the screen at one time. Um, the game won't allow any more than that. Um, however, that doesn't mean that there's just three enemies in that area. Sometimes if you um, scroll down and, and go back, new enemies will appear. Those are not the same enemies that uh, respawn. Uh, enemies don't respawn in this game uh, unless you exit the screen and go back in. So like if I were to go down here and go back, all those enemies we ran into um, will uh, will be back. But if I just went somewhere else on the same screen, they wouldn't come back. Major dialogue, all set. Right, let's go. So those soldiers are going to stop the witch. I kind of talking through all their conversation, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so there's only three enemies on screen at one time. But if you scroll around, more may pop up, and then eventually you'll defeat all the enemies on in one area, and no more enemies will pop up. So they're not infinitely respawning unless you exit the screen and go back. Let's go, Trombi. And we're in the Water Palace. This is a incredibly difficult area that makes you press switches to reveal ladders. And after all that trouble, we are now at the end of the Water Palace. So, now what? Hey you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Ha ha ha, welcome. What? You mean this girl is 200 years old? That's right. Let's talk to Luca. My, my. Looks like you have the monosword. How interesting. Ho, 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 ho. What are you, Santa Claus? Get out of here. It's funny I mentioned Santa Claus because, well, spoilers, not going to go there. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and monsters revived. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the mana sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the mantis ant. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword, and you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Once I was one of Luca's followers. I studied the power of mana which sustains everything in this world. That's nice. Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the mana fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world in the fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know. Gemma, see the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. Trombi, you go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about weapons. They may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. And off goes Gemma. Bye bye Gemma. Trombi, what are you so scared of? The fortress that almost destroyed the world? That seems a little more scary than a, a sword. Eons ago, the ancients used the mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Power? Trombi, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first or all is lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Who, me? That's impossible. Trombi, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first or all is lost. And then 
you're just gonna repeat what they said. So you have to choose okay in order to progress the story. Enough. Hold the sword up to the seed. And the flashy light show with this levitating seed and we get a little uh, more charge. This actually doesn't isn't important until we get magic, but it doesn't affect at least it doesn't affect anything uh, gameplay wise yet. For a moment the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Mana 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 mana. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Just like Mega Man. Only n not really. Take the spear with you. Mana Guardians used it long ago. Yay, we got a new weapon. So we're going to equip that as soon as we can. So we can uh, attack with it. It will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Why, yes, I do. Thank you. First, head for Gaia's navel like Gemma said. Look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. So, at this point, this area, this water palace, and Luca becomes an infinite source of free healing and saving. So if you're grinding stuff like weapon levels or magic, this is a fantastic place to go in the early game. Um, because you can recharge your health and magic for absolute free and it's really good. So we're going to call it an episode here. I'm sorry if it was so long, but um, hopefully things will go a little faster now that um, we're out in the world and we got our sword and our spear and we're ready to go and we've got an idea of what we're doing and uh, next time we'll see if we can't get to guys navel and uh, navel guys navel is what i meant to say there not neville this isn't harry potter trust me this is not harry potter he's not in here um so we're going to guys navel and uh see if we can get our our sword reforged and powered up so i'll do that next time on let's play secret of mana See you then.